Alrighty, hello. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. It is Sunday. Yep. February twenty fourth. You got it. And it is what's it doing outside, Mom? We have a white snow squall. What? It's called the squall. I think so. What's a squall? Because it's crazy, like a whiteout. Oh. Yeah. Yep. The whole town is whited out, and it's windy as hell. Oh yeah. Like, you'd think we're in Chicago. Yeah. So if you hear any You know that Chicago's noises, not the windiest city? I know, Mom. <laughs> it also is not known for hot dogs or pizza or something like that. Pizza. It's known for hot it's dogs. It's known for hot dogs, not known for deep dish. What that's else do right. you want to tell us about Chicago? But that's what it's known for, but it's not... That's not... Right. Anyways. It's dish. Are you, you ready anyways, Do you Abby? hear that? Do you hear that? Do you guys hear that? I don't think they heard it. We were talking. Oh. Well, the house is, like, shaking sometimes. The cars were shaking. Oh, my God, the car. The car I was hope it's crazy. Still there. Lifted, like, Dorothy. Oh, my God. This is a Dorothy moment. Okay, ready? Take it away, Evie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mom. I think that was my best one yet. Really? Yeah, it wasn't better screechy. It? I think because I sneezed a couple times that my voice is, like, down here. Mom, I said, is your phone on mm-hmm. silent? Hello? Okay, we're back from that call. We're back? Okay. Yep, we're back. You don't want to wait for Kat? Kat, when Kat comes, she'll come, okay? Because it'll be an interesting conversation just to see another point of view. Yeah, she'll come and she can be in it. Okay. Okay, this is a 45 minute to an hour podcast. We have time. Ay, caramba. Why, you don't have anything to talk about? Well, I was going to talk about a lot that's happening in the use and your views. Okay, what? Well, first, what do you think of that Jesse dude? Jesse Smollett? Yeah, that one. I was going to call him Jesse Mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse. Jesse. Um, I think he's really dumb. I don't understand why people would like go to that length to do shit like that. Especially, how did he think he was going to get away with that, first of all? Second of all... When you do things like that and don't get away with them, as he should not, um, it, it hurts people who are actually ostracized and who are actually going through this shit. And if you guys don't know what we're talking about, Jesse Smollett is an actor on Empire, and he faked... There was an attack on him, mm-hmm. um, and he's gay, and so there was an att- he's black as well. And there was an attack on him where, like, rope was tied around his neck and, like, a substance was poured on him. Mm -hmm. And he said that it was a hate crime for being gay and black. And um, he also said that the perps made this comment about, um, about MAGA country. Like, this is MAGA country, which is Make America Great Again, which is Trump their Trump supporters basically. Mm -hmm. So like, why would you stage a hate crime by a Trump supporter, by, by a Trump supporter, right? Um, if you don't like Trump, first of all, why would you stage that hate crime? Because the minute it gets out, which it will, because the truth always comes out. Um, it's just going to make your opposing, people look better because they're not actually like that you know and it's gonna make you and who who you stand for look worse you know like i just think it's so dumb like to prove like to to make a point if that's what he was doing which he wasn't but to, to make a point like that don't stage that or else when it comes out that it's staged and not true all of its credit goes bye bye and down the toilet, and it and it just ruins it for the people that are actually going through these things. Like when false rape victims go in, mm. falsely report a rape, and then real rape victims are scared to go in to report rape because so because other false reports have been made and so the police are more skeptical instead of trusting you know because they're taking away that credibility you know so like why why would you do that and apparently his reasoning was because he was first it was i heard he was getting written off the show he didn't want to get written off 
his show dumb second reasoning was because he wasn't getting paid enough apparently twenty six thousand dollars wasn't enough an episode but then apparently it was actually fifty thousand dollars sixty thousand dollars an episode wasn't enough like what the hell dude what the hell? Honestly, what the hell? You get written off the show, fine. Go. You're, you should be so confident in your own acting abilities to get written off that show and start a new show. Like, like go try out for a new one. Like, it's so dumb. And twenty six to $60,000 an episode is not enough? Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> come on. I would love to be making that half a year right you know i think he he was a disgrace to two communities to the black community and the and gay especially community. black history month and to the gay community he hurt two communities really bad and there was a lot of people who supported him and then yeah but he also hurt the if he's a democrat he hurt the democrats too yeah because he want he tried to make this whole political statement about America. the republicans yeah. And but I think it the backfired. Other two communities were far more important. Yeah, that he absolutely. Than the political co- absolutely. community, right? So, Jesse Mullet, what do you think? Should he be Smollett. put in Smollett? Smollett Mullet. Should he be put in jail and oh, yeah, uh, he should charged be put in jail. and charged for the investigation? Yeah. Yes. He wasted their time. He did. He wasted their time. And did you see the interview? No, I didn't. So okay, I you have. To, oh well. Remember I was telling you I was watching the interview and I said mm-hmm. she does not believe him. Mm-hmm. Like her mannerisms, the way she was sitting, the way she was listening to him, all you could see in her face was, you're bullshitting me right now. It's a really fine... What is that noise? That's the cleaners. Snowplow. It's a really fine line um, between... It, it, it's a really fine line you walk when you're when somebody comes with you with something that's happened to them because you want your first instinct is to believe them Mm -hmm. and to feel bad for them Mm -hmm. and to sympathize and empathize or whatever the word is with them right because you want to be there for them but then there's also some doubt in your mind that that naturally creeps in um, well, he created dope because he didn't hand in his phone to the cops. I'm right not away. saying he created. I'm talking about not him, Mom. Oh, I'm you're not talking, talking about, about in general. Him. I'm talking okay. about in general. Well, I don't want to stick on a specific subject. It's I better know, to talk about bigger ideals. Okay, relax. Why are you taking it so personally? I'm not attacking you. About. I didn't attack you, did I? Well, yeah. No. No, I didn't attack you. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Listen back to this. Go. If you feel attacked, Continue. you got issues, honey. Okay, you should not be taking things so you personally. Got issues. Go get yourself some tissues over there. Oh my honey. god, honey. Honey. Why are you taking stuff I'm not. so personally? You're, 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 you're extending it now. I'm not extending it. Yeah, you are. No, you have some type of personal issue. I have no personal you issue. You do. But I don't. But but I just I just said no. I'm not talking about him. Like, stop going back to him. I'm talking... I moved on to a bigger issue. I'm segueing into a bigger topic. You started with a niche topic. We talked about it. Okay. People may or may not have heard of the Jesse okay. Smollett case. Okay. And now we're moving into something bigger that oh. peop- that we can give people food for I thought, Mom. I was not Mom. aware. You didn't say I'm moving No, forward. I'm not going to illustrate... I'm not going to explicitly say that. You sound it's, like we're still on the same topic Mom, to me. it is a interviewer tactic just let me be a good interviewer and host here all right are you done okay (laughs) are you done (laughs) anyways i was gonna move into Mm -hmm. (laughs) mom i'm not doing this podcast (laughs) if you're gonna sit there like be a dumb dumb (laughs) seriously i was moving into a, a bigger food general food for thought topic like when someone comes to you with a story and an experience that they went through Mm -hmm. how do you go about approaching it if you're unsure whether that actually like some details in it happened or not you know as an interviewer you're talking how do you continue mom (laughs) if i came to you and said somebody just punched me in the face put a noose over my neck and poured liquid on me like, that's very odd, right? So yeah. I come to you and tell you that. You're going to be worried, yeah. sick, yeah. and feel like shit, but you're also yeah. going to innately and humanly be like, did that really happen, Ev? Like, you're going to question it. No. You wouldn't question it because not, I would never make parent. that up. Yeah, but not as a parent. I don't think you would question okay, it Okay, this is not going the way that I was <laughs> planning on going. 
<laughs> what as a parent? You're asking a parent. A parent would question. A parent would be full of anger. Like, what the hell happened? A random person came to you on the street yes, and said, "This person. happened to me." Yeah. First, you'd be empathetic, sympathetic, right. and then you start asking questions. But you're not sure. How do you? How do you go walk that fine line without offending them if it actually did happen? Is what I'm saying. I don't know. Like you said, this interviewer yeah. didn't look like she was buying it. She was But if yeah. it was true, that, that'd be terrible of her to to be skeptical of, of that. You know what I mean? Maybe his story didn't line up. Maybe the person but that you're talking to. But how does she know it doesn't line because up? Because uh, she has was having conversation with him. Right? Maybe she is looking at mannerisms and all that shit. So even the person on the street, you know, it, it's how do they say it? How do and they how react? And how did they report it, though? Because this could have, like, it was reported to the world through the media as this was a fact that this happened. It wasn't Mm -hmm. allegedly he got assaulted. It was a matter of fact. And now they all look stupid because they matter-of-factly put it out there. Right? Mm -hmm. So now the trust in the media is discredited because the story is fake. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. And they put it out there as fact. Because they believed him. Because he would. But even if you believe somebody, you still need to report on it as allegedly, allegedly because stuff like this happens. Right. Where until a verdict and suspects have been caught, right? Yeah. You can't. You can't. You can't say it matter of factly, or unless there's video footage, mm-hmm. you can't say it matter of factly. Right. You know. Like, even evidence after the fact, like him walking into the police station with the noose still around yeah. his neck, which is weird. Why would you take it off? Yeah. Um, that is still not evidence because that could have been planted. There needs to be video evidence. Yeah. But also that could have been staged. Like, it's just very... And he's an yeah. actor. And the other people exactly. that did it with him are actors. actors. Yeah. Like, it's... They actually did it in front of a camera. They did? Yeah. But the camera, they didn't know was facing the other way. Oh, my God. So it didn't even what catch idiots. the crime. Yeah, oh, it was idiots. facing the other way. Yeah. What idiots. So, um, to move on. Okay, can you stop clapping in the mic? You did that at the beginning, too. I did? Yeah. Okay, to move on what? Let's talk about what's going on with uh, the Kardashians. What do you think of that? Didn't we talk about that last week? No, it just yeah, happened. Yeah, we did. About Tristan and, and what's her name? I swear and we Jordan? talked about that last week. It just week. happened this week. Oh. Yeah, I'm exhausted about talking about them. It's Friends. so annoying. Oh, do you talk about it in your broadcast too? Yeah. No, you don't want to. Okay. Well, what? What do you have to... It's Nothing. not like you're adding input into this. I'm the only one giving my perspective. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think? It needs though? to be two-sided. Okay. I'm sick of it being one-sided. And you oh. just capturing me yelling at you on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot how to take video. No. Listen. What? Uh, what do you think of emojis on license plates? No. Yeah, they're doing that in Australia. Dumb. Dumb. What emoji would you choose if you had that option? The laughy face emoji. The laughy face? Yeah. Yeah. They're Why? starting to do that in Australia. That's dumb. So you're right. One, five, two, three, laughy face. No, that's really dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's happening. No, I, I really think that's dumb. Hmm? I think that's dumb. Yep. Why do I think it's dumb? Because it's dumb. I don't have a reason why. It's just dumb. It is dumb, isn't it? It's so dumb. It's like, then you have to remember combinations of emojis. Like, were there three hard eye emojis and one laughy face and one poop emoji? (laughs) That's your fucking license plate? No. Dumb. Okay. If you were driving a car and your engine light came on, would you be more concerned about your engine light or dropping your phone? What? What? I'm asking you a question. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Would you be more concerned if your engine light came on while you were driving your car? Or would you be more concerned if you were doing something and dropped your phone? Um, I don't know. That sounds like a dumb question. No, it's not a dumb question. It's a legit question. If you drop your phone while you're driving, you keep on driving. No, forget. Let's say just say dropping your phone in general. What would you be more concerned? Oh. If an engine light came on while you're driving or if you're doing something and you dropped your phone, what would be your more concern? Um, my engine light. Okay, that's good. 
If I drop my phone, I drop my phone. I've dropped my phone plenty of times. Okay, would you be more concerned? I'm more concerned about my engine light because I don't know enough about cars to know what the fuck my engine light's on and what the hell um, do I need to do now? Is the car going to explode? Whereas I know if I drop my phone, it's either safe or it's cracked and I know what to do about it. I either get it fixed or pick it up and continue going. All right. Okay. Hang That's on. the dumbest question I've ever heard. Well, how about an engine light versus identity theft? What? Oh, no, no. How about your engine light versus your phone running out of battery? My engine light. Do you not understand what no, I'm saying? No, but you know what millennials are picking? People your age? They're picking that their phone runs out of battery. They're picking like that if, if you're they more drop concerned? their phone. Yeah. Okay, well, it depends. Did my what? phone run out of battery and I'm um, going somewhere to meet somebody? I'm concerned. I'm not I'm not concerned about my engine light because I'm in New York and I'm taking the subway and there's no car in my face. Okay. But an like engine it, light versus your Like car it doesn't make out sense. Those are not those are situational concerns. Yeah, well that's what they're And then there was uh, there was another if one. If I'm if I'm uh, um at an important meeting and I drop my phone, I'm more concerned with dropping my phone, not an engine light because I'm not in a car. Do you see what I'm saying? So yes, my phone is more concerning. If I'm um on my, I'm, if I'm in a forest and I need my phone to navigate my way out, I'm walking in a forest, I need my phone to navigate my way out, and my phone dies, I'm fucked. And then, what if it's evening time and the, and the light goes down and I'm in the forest at nighttime, I need my phone for the flashlight, so my phone dying is really major concern, mm -hmm. and there's no car around me, my engine light is not a concern. It's situational concerns. You can't say... Are you concerned about this or are you concerned about this? You Actually, can't, you can't say, are you more concerned about one or the other? I got the second one mixed up. The second one was, are you more concerned about your phone dying or identity theft? Um, my phone dying? <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, identity theft, how deep is it? Well, identity theft is identity theft, man. That's serious. But like, how can somebody, st how can someone steal your identity in this day and age? Oh, like, I'm all over YouTube and shit. With technology, of course they can steal. Oh, way easier. Yeah, but I mean, like. Yeah, but they can steal everything. But what they are they gonna do with my identity? Make passports, bank accounts. And then they're gonna they're go you. travel. Yeah, they're gonna pretend they're you. Okay, so what is that? How does that affect my life? Because they're being you under your passport name and your. They could be under your account. They could easily. Do you know how many John Smiths the, John Smiths there yeah, are? Yeah, I know. Yeah, so what's the difference? What's the difference between having the same name as somebody from the exact same country or town as you, and having the same passport, and having the same red hair? Like, what's the difference between that a coincidence, and somebody stealing your identity? Yeah, so they were saying you guys don't care about identity theft. Well, like it's very uncommon. Yeah, I don't know how uncommon it is, but. I don't think so. I think it's probably more common now than it ever has been before. Is it though? Yeah, because it's easy for like, hackers to break like into. Like theft, yes. Like stealing my credit cards, I'm concerned, right? Yeah. But identity theft, like you don't really hear that. Like who has, who's going to steal my identity in this day and age, get a passport and do all that shit, get my social security number, yeah. get my credit cards. Yeah. There's people that do that. Well, if there's somebody out there right now, it doesn't affect me. So, yeah. those who cares? are millennial questions, and identity theft was not an issue. It's to not an issue. Your age group and uh, your phone dying was more of an issue, and your phone dropping was more. But of do an you issue see how than an engine light? But do, but but that those are situational identity theft. I don't know. I just don't think it's that. I don't know. Maybe because I'm so secure in that's good who I am, and you need to be secure. But I mean, just like if somebody stole my identity, like I just don't think it would affect me. Like they're not sharing my bank account; they're just using me to open up a different bank account. I think where it would affect me is if they're ruining my credit score or something like that. Yes, that's what identity theft is too. Okay, but if they are, mom, then that would be your concern. Then, then it would be of concern, of yes. course. Okay. But I feel like It was that... just a question that I heard. Okay, but can you let me continue? Why are you trying yeah. to cut me off now? I'm done with it. Okay, <laughs> let's move on then. 
Did you hear about the 21-year-old who left her daughter at home for a week and she starved to death, the poor little thing? No. She was like four or five years old. If you're not competent enough to have children, what the fuck is your issue? She was partying and it was the daughter's birthday. It was either her birthday or the daughter's birthday and the mom went by, the grandmother went by the apartment to go visit to drop off a gift and found the granddaughter dead. But how do you just forget about your daughter? Maybe she just did it intentionally. Maybe she... How do you forget about your daughter not intentionally for a week? How do you forget about your daughter not intentionally for four days, for three days, two days, for one fucking day? How do you forget about a human being? You leave her home. You're not concerned after you wake up out of your drunken state and you're like, fuck, I have a daughter. She never should have left her for one minute. I'm just saying. She was young. She should have sent her to the grandmother's How house. How old was she? I think she was around five. Why didn't she call the grandmother to look after she, her? The grandmother called and says, how's everything going? She said, fine. She let a five-year-old die from starvation? Yeah. The five-year-old While wasn't was capable out. of opening the fridge and getting herself food? While she was out partying. Who knows? Maybe the fridge was empty. If she was out partying every day. Isn't that horrible? That's horrible. These like shows horrible. On that goes on in the world. People are demented these Where days. Where in the world? That was in Russia. She should be hung. Yeah, she should be. She's, that's she's not a that's not a for, forgivable mistake. She's being convicted for murder. Good, because that yeah. sounds like intentional murder. Yeah, I agree. It does sound like intentional murder. Like I just don't see a scenario where you forget to and you leave your daughter at home. I just don't see that. It didn't say she forgot. It just said she left her daughter at home. Okay, for so a week it was an intentional was, murder. Yeah, it was intentional. It sounded like it was intentional. To like, me. what the fuck do you think was gonna happen she, when you leave your daughter without food for a week? Right. Like, at least buy her twenty cereal boxes, right. and she won't starve to death if you're gonna do that. You know, Still. like, don't do it. But if you are, like, know, the poor thing. It was hello, sad, sad twenty story. cereal boxes. Put them out in twenty bowls like a fucking dog. If that's how you're gonna treat your daughter. But don't leave her there without any means of food. Yeah, that's, so That's messed up. Totally messed up. That's messed up. Yeah. Where's the father? I don't think there was a father. Oh. 21-year-old pregnancy. So there can still oh, be teenage... fathers at 21 Well, I know, but I'm talking about teenage pregnancy. There can also be fathers for teenage but, pregnancy, Yeah, mom. there could be, but who knows? Maybe he was partying with her. It didn't Dumb. make mention of a father. Maybe the father doesn't Dumb. even know he's a father. That's just as bad as taking a knife and stabbing her. Right. Yeah. Actually, it's worse because she's making her suffer. Yeah, she suffered, the poor thing. She suffered. But also, a week? A week. Can kids not survive for more than a week without I eating? I so, but still, to be on her own for a week, isn't that? That's just... But that doesn't make inhumane. sense. Why did she die? Who knows? Evie just said... It doesn't 20. make sense to me. You don't die. You you can... Humans can go 30 days without eating, Mom. Food and water. 30 days. 30 days, Mom. How? I, I, don't I know. understand that five year olds are still developing, but Maybe but it just doesn't younger. make sense. Maybe she was younger than five. It said twenty one. There are children in Africa who starve for more than a week and they're children. And they're just skin and bones, but they're not dead. No. Do you know what I mean though? Yeah. Like this sounds fishy. There's more to this story. Maybe it sounds like she came home and her daughter was probably skin and bones and then she just, you know, capped it. Maybe they don't know the whole story. They couldn't believe what happened. Like, that's crazy. It was horrible. Okay, next. What's next? What do you have to tell us, Evie? I don't, I don't have to tell you anything. I'm, I don't know. What's going on? Nothing is going on. I'm stressed and happy and relaxed and excited. I'm all of those in one. And so when you're all of those in one, they all cancel each other out. Oh. And you're just what? You're just numb. numb. <laughs> what the hell? Well, you asked me today. You said, oh where my God. are you? Today, you were a freaking, like, out to lunch zombie. I don't know where the hell your mind was Because today. yesterday, I met up with a friend. Yeah. And we hashed out a story for this documentary yeah. that I'm making. Okay? Mm-hmm. So then after the hashing out, It didn't, like, our idea didn't settle well with me. Like, there was something that, not missing, it just wasn't all the parts that we came up with just weren't flowing. Working together. Yeah, so last night I told you I was trying to turn my brain off. Yeah, but you didn't. I didn't, and And I... switched the story. Switched the story, and I started writing everything out. Yeah. 
So now that I have the story, I went back and discussed with him the new story. <laughs> he loved it. Oh, he he he's like, I said, like, I don't know. This is just how genius works. Okay. I know there's a fine line between crazy and genius, but this is genius. You think so? It's genius. So, and then he gave me the idea. Gave you input? input he didn't run more the no he was like he he's like run? no no he, okay. he was like happy to be in so the I writer's he's intrigued room then very intrigued because i showed him my notebook right yeah. and if you look at my notebook my yeah. brain is just it's like i yeah. threw up on my notebook yeah. it's all over the place yeah, and he, that's weird. that's just how my brain is though like oh, I, know. I can talk to you about one thing and you know you've seen it on yeah. my broadcast i have 20 different conversations in one sometimes forget what I'm talking about, but I can keep up with them because my brain is that like functional, you know what I mean? So my notebook looks exactly how my, how active my brain is. Mm -hmm. So like on one page I showed him, there was like YouTube video ideas on the next part of the page. It was like, I just started writing song lyrics. And then on the bottom of the page, it was like, you go Ev, you're the best like affirmations. (laughs) That's good. So like, he's like, how do you get from here to here to here on one page? Right. And I was like, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm stuck on something. I get distracted by something else. I write something, whatever I'm distracted by. And then I, I'm finished with that. And I either go back to what I got stuck on before or I switch to something else. When I get distracted, I just go play a game. Yeah, well, no, that doesn't help me. Well, because you're not a game player, that's why. So anyways, so where I was going okay. with this. Yeah, because you were going to say into something different. So no. I need to finish my thought yes, here. Yes, finish your thought. Okay, thank you. Good, go for it. Can Do you I remember finish your it thought? Now? Yeah. yeah, I remember my thought. You still thought. remember? You still yeah. trying to hold on to no, it? No, I remember it, Mom. You still hold on to it? Are you going to keep talking to try and get see. rid of the yeah, thought? Gonna, no, it's... I'm going to see. Can you? How long can you hold on for that, to that I can thought? To hold on to the thought, Mom. Really? What's 9 plus 9? 18. And what's 9 times 9? 81. Very good. What's okay. your thought? <laughs> my, my thought. My thought is that... Um, the whole reason why I was like in thought today Mm -hmm. was because, so after I had thought about that, I just like talked to him now about the idea, but the whole day today I was, um, just mulling it over in my brain Mm -hmm. and thinking, sure did. What are the exact shots that I need to, because this is all time sensitive. I know. It's all time sensitive. I can't do. That's why I was asking you. No, 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 no. Let me finish. Okay. I can't do anything after march 8th yeah because we're going to new york yeah so i need to so like for get done shit everything like next week i think everything that i need from toronto like cousins that need to be in this documentary they need to all be filmed prior to march 8th march 8th is a part of the documentary so i need to make sure that my phone is charged that day and i have a backup charger for march 8th Yes. Because that's the event that is the documentary, yes, right? That is. And then I need to think about, and then I'm also thinking about, okay, so I, I know March 8th is March 8th. There's nothing I can do, but I just need to make sure my phone is charged. However March 8th goes is however it goes, right? For, but now I need to think of the lead up to March 8th because I need to film every day. 10 mm-hmm. days prior to March 8th right. for my story. Yeah. So I'm thinking now because I have two days until 10 days prior, I need, I'm thinking, okay, So how am I going to do this? You know, and it's only three minutes. The whole film is three minutes. And then I need to film the intro, which includes other people, which I need to to time out, which I didn't even get that idea until now, until he gave me the idea to do that. Right. So I like this. So now I'm saying why I was so still today and not beside you when I was beside you is because my mind is thinking about this project. And I, when I'm, have my eyes and my mind set on something yeah. like winning a film festival. Yeah. I really want it. So I'm going to make sure that I get it basically. People ask me, why do I always get what I want is because I don't stop until I get what I want. Simple. If I stopped before I got what I wanted, yeah. I wouldn't have, Everything that I wanted. You have to work for what you want. Exactly. Right? So that's where my mind was today. But now that I was... So I was thinking that over internally, right? Mm -hmm. So, But now that I have talked and hashed it out with him, the second idea, um, now my mind is free to roam, you know? You want to go for a walk? But tomorrow, 
I'm still gonna like you're not here but I'm gonna be all day I'm gonna be on my computer like planning out shots and stuff like that That's good so that I can yeah, still ready to go hash out the idea even more so that yeah. when I edit because I have to do a quick edit um, in New York when I edit mm-hmm. I need to make sure that I already have my act one act two act three planned out mm-hmm. so that it'll make it easier for me to edit you know so it's just all the planning right now yep Abby was really sitting in her wheelchair just hmm you love you where are you today and goes, i'm in my brain yeah i thought wow shit man but as long as it has to do with good stuff when you really when i'm really in my brain yeah like but i'm can... okay with it when it has to do with stuff like this yeah right it's no, just, that's all it has to do with. Yeah. There's nothing else. I mean... No, there should be nothing else at this point, but I was just concerned that maybe your brain sometimes goes backwards and I just didn't want I mean, it to go I mean, my brain is... I'm so... The thing with me right now is that I am extremely strong-minded. I don't think I've ever been this strong-minded ever before in my entire life. Well, and, like, I've never been so sure of what loving yourself means than you, I am right now. So you finally get it. I get it. I was always questioning. Yes, you questioned it. I was you always questioning it. what loving yourself Means. meant. meant. Yeah, like, what did that mean? Like, yeah. when I put on makeup and put on an, an outfit that I think I look good in and I look at myself in the mirror, damn, am I feeling myself, right? Yeah. And I'm like, shit, I love you. You look great. Yeah. But then I the also same. look at my look at myself in the mirror yeah. and I still think, you're still fat though and you're you know when you put your face this way you're ugly like you know that that was my thought process before and now i know that i love myself because i'm like girl you are fat <laughs> like you know like it's i love myself dis- despite what i think about myself See? Even and and even if it's something that I want to change about myself, like yeah, I want to lose weight, yeah, but I also know that this weight is temporary and it's as a byproduct there of my discipline, which right. is a good thing. Yeah. So like, I can't be mad at myself, and I love myself for it. You know, it's like if if it's like you have to see yourself as you have to love yourself and care about yourself oh as somebody. That you care about. Yeah. I wish I like recorded the you Red Table Talk said, you know. A year from now to now, like a year ago. Yeah. To now conversation. Because you didn't get it a year ago. I didn't get it. I you don't understand. It. Like but you got it now. Well, now I understand that like loving yourself doesn't mean you like every single thing about yourself, but it means no. you love yourself despite the things that you don't like. Just like when you find a partner to love. Right. And you that and you spend the rest of your life with them. Yeah. It's not like you're gonna like every single thing about them, yeah. but you're gonna love them enough mm-hmm. to either see past those things, to work on those things with them, or to love them despite it. You know. Right. So you have to treat yourself in the same way as you would treat somebody else that you care about. Treat yourself like you're somebody you care about. But a year ago, you were depending on somebody else. Like, in general, I'm talking about, like, what, you're depending on somebody else's love to find love, to to be loved, instead of loving yourself wholly. I think a year ago... Yeah, I understand. I think a year ago, I thought that you if needed. somebody else loved... If somebody yeah. else didn't love me, I was unlovable, or there right. was something wrong Same. with me. Yeah. But I now know... And I don't know why I never thought in this perspective because not everyone out there is for me, but they're still really amazing individuals, you know? And so I don't know why I thought that if if I wasn't loved by somebody, it meant that I wasn't still an amazing individual when I still saw amazing individuals that I wasn't attracted to mm-hmm. or loved in that way, mm-hmm. but admired their individuality and 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 mind and stuff like that you know so like now look at that you found yourself no but I'm like i did find myself i'm not creating myself i'm finding myself well, how do you know huh? well, no, i can't create this i found it yeah it works okay so anyways so i mean now 
like now I get rejected or it things don't work out between somebody that I'm interested, yeah. let's say. Right. I'm I dwell on it way less. Maybe for uh, 5 minutes or 10 or an hour, I'm like, "Oh shit, that hurt my ego," you know? But then I'm like, "Oh wait, no. I'm just not what they need." You know? See? That's good. Way. I'm hoping that this helps somebody out there right now. What I you're saying so to too. no seriously, because this is what people need to hear. Yeah. This is what people because when you say what were you calling me a year ago? You're heartless. You're so cold. You you're are so that, heartless. No, and that's cold. not true. <laughs> that's so not true. It's so. It's true. not. It's just when you get to a certain, mostly a certain age, and it's like fuck it, you get over it faster. But it's something that I wanted you guys to learn earlier on. Because even if you hear like. As a radio personality. No, mom. Like, no. Look, no. No. Not no. If not you fuck people- it. You get over it faster, mom. You were trying to tell me to get over a heartbreak with somebody that I was in love with. Right. For a year and a half, two years. And you expect me to get over them in a month when it doesn't work out? That's totally different, mom. Okay? You can't you know expect what? me. No, it took me eight months, which is a, a good reasonable amount of time, actually. And you cannot put a time limit on no. how fast a heart can heal, Mom. No, you can't. No, you can't, okay? Still... So you can't sit there and say, it comes with age. Fuck it. it. No, okay? It no. if you hear no, other people... No, 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 no. Well, I don't shut think... up for two seconds? I'm sorry, but I don't think oh you've loved God. as deeply as I have in my 24-year-old lifetime as you as how old ever old you are. Like, oh I really God. don't think so. Evie. I don't think so! Kiss my ass. You kiss my ass. <laughs> Evie, if you hear, like, if you... On 104.5, Marilyn Dennis, and the people who are around her, we're all around the same age. Marilyn's a little bit older. They'll go... Get over it. Mom. Because they've been, everybody's been through it that they feel when you look back, it's been such a wasted time. Yeah, but it's also been a period of growth and that is it, not waste yes, of time, no, okay? No, Sorry I, to say to you, okay, my eight hold months. Up, calm, no! Calm. My eight months of growth uh, was not wasted time. Zen. No, and also, a thing that so- pisses me off is that you tell me to get over it, like, in a month, Mom. No, no okay, first of all, I, I need to go through it. Okay. I'm only just processing uh-huh. it, okay? Uh-huh. my ears. And second of all, no, second of all, okay. Mom, second oh my God, of all. Abby. Stop can you, for two can seconds. You stop? No, I can't stop. No, just stop. Why? Because I had something to say. No. I, I think it's because of your age that you needed to go through your experience. I think if you were to ever experience this again, that it would probably be a lot shorter the time. Mom, first of all, yeah, it depends how many times you've had this. But if you're 50, 50 years old and your marriage from your high school sweetheart is ending and you've never had a heartbreak like that, No, don't tell me to get over it in a month. That's going to take a year to get over at least. You're 50 years old. You were 18 when you got together. Like, and and you've never had that experience ever in your life. You're only talking about if you're older and you've been, you've had this experience over and over again, you can get over it much quicker. But if you've never had this experience and you're at 50 years old, you're experiencing heartbreak, you're not going to say, oh, you're 50 years old and age determines how quickly you get over it. No, it's experience that determines it. So if I've never had this type of experience because I've never been in love right. with somebody like in this type of way, right. which I'm not sure if it was actual real love, I question that all the time because it was all built on lies. Right. Like, it's just like you can't tell me to get over that in a day, in a month, you know, in a two months, like. Anyways, Evie. No, but that's why? what I need to tell you. Like, it's not just with age. It's with experience. Okay, with experience. Uh, I'm glad you found yourself. You're so annoying. <laughs> like, you're so annoying. I'm glad you found yourself. You're so Abby. annoying. Now you can start creating yourself. You're annoying. <laughs> you're really annoying. Oh, Lord have mercy. What's this? skin did i cut myself or something i don't know feel it oh my god there's always something with you see what's yeah, that maybe you scratched yourself how oh, i don't know i was sitting in a wheelchair all day how i don't know maybe you accidentally scratched yourself guys somehow. i have a question if you're a parent out there and your child says mom my ear's swollen i can't hear out of it can you please take me to the hospital are you gonna say no 
I don't want to go to the hospital right now. It's going to be a long lineup, and I need to wake up early tomorrow. Yes, I have to go to work. Mom, I could lose my hearing in Abby. a matter of a night, and you're not concerned? I have lost my vision in a matter of a night, and you're not Abby. concerned that I can lose another sense? Oh, my God. Not trying to be modern-day Helen Keller here, okay? Abby. I need Abby. my other senses, How especially if my eye. right now? My ear is still hurting me. Because you didn't manage to go today. Yeah, or because... Or last night. Because my head is in this other space, Mom. Yeah, but you could still take your head and your other space to the hospital, too. You didn't bring it back up. You didn't say, Ev, we should go take you to the hospital. Well, if you're not complaining... No, Mom, I was complaining that your night. Your eyelashes you look good right you now. You should have baby. taken me that night. That's very inconsiderate of you. Mm. Anyways. Yes. So this is good. Good. I hope I hope that you actually help somebody out there today. And well, I'm making a, my next YouTube video. And... My next YouTube video is going to be on what loving yourself means. That's excellent. Which is going to be tomorrow. So oh, good. So you have something to do tomorrow. Yeah, but I already kind of said it here. So that's know. okay. It's different. It's different when you see my yeah passion and me talking to you one on one through a youtube video well, i think it'll be totally different i think you said some stuff here but i'm sure you have a lot more to say oh i have a lot more to say but i yeah. actually everything that i said here i had already written down for saying tomorrow oh. i just wanted to test it out my pat my passion oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys i think we're gonna cut this one short today how long is that a 41 minutes that's short that's not short. our last ones have been an hour minimum why have they gone so i don't long? know Anyways, I think that's all we have. All right, to talk bye. About. I'm bye. ready to go. If you have anything for us to say, uh, please do. Leave do it you in know the what? Comment. Don't even leave a comment. Don't even bother leaving what? a comment. Why not? What's the point of le- reverse psychology? Maybe they'll leave a if comment. If you this made time. it to the end, <laughs> if you made it to the end, tell us. Um, what should they tell us, mom? Then I'm a goat. What? No. Tell us your favorite. Tell us oh, if yes. you would like. Um, have you found yourself yet? Mom, stop being for such a dumb dumb, okay? <laughs> Guys, if you've made it to the end... Tell us your favorite color. That's dumb. You're dumb. If you made it to the end, tell us what you think About? loving yourself means. Maybe some people don't want to share that experience. If you made it to the end, <laughs> tell us a fun fact about yourself that nobody knows. Maybe they don't want to share that either. Tell us a fun fact about yourself <laughs> that we won't know. But if they use their real names on YouTube, they might not want to share that. Listen, I don't even know. What Tell us your real name if you if you don't want fuck if you don't want fuck if you don't want.